The world's appetite for crossovers is increasing every day, and India is no different. Representing the Brits is Mini with the Countryman, and in its latest generation, it's bigger and promises to be better in every way. We have the Cooper S petrol variant in the JCW inspired kit, and we'll tell you everything you need to know about the car. Aren't Mini supposed to be small? Yes, that is an inherent trait of the brand. Then isn't the Countryman a bit large for a Mini? Well, yes and no. Yes, because at almost 4.3 meters long and 1.8 meters wide and 1.5 meters tall, it's the largest car they've made. And no, because as far as entry-level luxury crossovers go, it's relatively smaller. It's the British marquee's take on the crossover segment, and the size, just about everything about it, is very mini. Take the exterior for instance. All quintessential mini traits are present, including the roundish headlamps, healthy usage of chrome, and the floating roof, along with the chrome applique running along the lower edge of the DLO. This particular variant, Cooper S JCW inspired, additionally features certain elements that help differentiate it from the regular Cooper S and D variants. Exclusive to the JCW trim are the 18-inch alloys, the two-tone British racing green paint job, along with a sportier set of bumpers and a rear spoiler. Also reserved only for the JCW spec countryman are rearview camera and keyless entry, or as Mini calls it, comfort access system. Just wish the Union Jack style tail lamps of the hatchback would have filtered down to the countryman as well. The interior too is quintessentially mini. You get the signature round element over here with the LED lighting and a touch screen, uh, round dials for the aircon controls, these aircraft like toggle switches, this nice chunky steering wheel with red stitching courtesy the John Cooper Works inspired kit, and this minimal uh, instrument console over here with the speedo, taco and everything else, and a cool looking head up display. The lack of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is a bit baffling though. Perhaps the only un-mini-like thing about the Countryman is the fact that unlike the rest of the lineup, everything you see here is part of standard equipment. This means the price listed on the website includes everything, so you won't be adding lakhs to the price by ticking the options list. True to its mini DNA, the car is super fun to drive. You get a nice heavy steering wheel, a very firm suspension setup, and all in all, it comes together to make this something you really want to push into corners. You can carry speed, it's composed through uh, corners, and you can you know, indulge in a lot of spirited driving. The suspension is a little firm, obviously, but um, that does make it ride a little harsh on bad roads, but then that's a good trade-off for uh, you know, the kind of uh, handling and uh, dynamism you get with the car. A sharp steering, a taut suspension and the 2.0-litre turbocharged petrol churning out 192 bhp and 280 nm of peak torque combined together to ensure the countryman manages to put a smile on your face as a Mini should. This being the JCW spec, it comes with an 8-speed Sport automatic Steptronic transmission which is a wee bit quicker than the 8-speed auto found in the other variants. It does a fine job of keeping the car in the right gear, more so when flicked left into S. And you can always take matters into your own hands quite literally with paddle shifters found only in the JCW variant. The sport mode dials things up a notch and best of all, it makes the countryman sound better with fairly audible pops and crackles on the overrun. It gets louder inside the cabin but that is because of oral trickery via something called active sound which rotates a throaty artificial snarl through the speakers in the cabin. This works only in sport mode and most wouldn't even realize that that is not the actual sound of the engine. Also available are green and mid driving modes. The former, as its name suggests, 
tunes everything to make the car run more economically, while the latter strikes a balance between the two extremes. Despite being a crossover, the India spec countryman is strictly front wheel drive, missing out on Mini's all four all wheel drive setup. Aside from the obvious gains in its off road ability, power to the rear wheels will add to its handling prowess. The countryman is undoubtedly a Mini at its core, despite its relatively generous proportions. It's a definite head turner. It's fun to drive and has a cabin that feels special. If I were to choose between Mini's five-door options, five-door hatch, clubman and countryman, I would definitely pick the crossover. At 41.4 lakh rupees X showroom, the countryman in the Cooper S JCW inspired spec may seem to be the most expensive Mini. It actually works out cheaper than the rest of the lineup since it gets a lot of essential equipment as standard.